got my baton, got some wood I sawed with my Laplander. I got this Ford, S-V-O-R-D, Ford of New Zealand. Look at that thick sheath. Very nice. Look at the temper on that blade. Is that showing up at all? It says New Zealand Zvord. It's got a convex grind, three brass and copper pins. It's about almost a quarter of an inch thick. Big heavy hand guard, walnut handles. And we're gonna see, first, I just wanna see if I can do a feather stick. Got a pretty dry piece of wood. Tip this up real quick. Okay. Almost removing the bark easy enough. It's got that thick false swedge on it there too, which you can use to remove some of that bark. Okay, let's do the feather sticks. Going up and down the blade here just to make sure that all parts of the blade get a, get a chance. But I would say that that is pretty good feather stick maker there. Those things are like paper, they're so thin. Quite nice. Now let's see if we can make a stake for your tent. I just blew right through a knot in that wood. Like it wasn't even there. Well, yes, it will. You can either slay vampires or use this for tent stakes. That's the word I was looking for. Okay, it did, it did that easy enough. Okay, I got a piece of dry wood here. I'm just gonna see if it will chop wood. I hope this is showing up. Chopped it pretty good. Let's see if I can just yeah, it'll even push cut it. It's blasting right through it. Okay, what you've all been waiting for. Let's see if it can baton. Oh geez, it's like butter set in the camera. You seeing that? Now I'm coming up to a knot right there because there's a branch coming out of the side of that wood. But very nice. All right, let me try splitting that past that knot. How about I go the opposite way? We'll do like a plus on here. want everybody to see that that is pretty nice pretty nice you can see blew right through that clear down to the dry dry wood inside pretty nice I like doing these like little micro fine feathers because they catch a spark so much easier than a thick feather does. You can see by like my thumb, those are very fine, very fine little feathers. No chips on the blade. The blade doesn't look any worse for the wear tear at all. 
and it has like this flat kind of choil right here so you can choke up on it when you are doing carving or feather sticks without cutting your finger. Yep, this is right up there with any Finnish or Swedish knife that I've ever had. Even though it doesn't have the Scandi blade, it's not bad at all. I'm definitely liking this one. Look at that. And this knife doesn't weigh much. It's a little slick. Like, if it had some grip on it, a little bit of, well, it's probably too skinny for Ranger Band, maybe. But if you had a little grip tape, some Camiform tape, that would be perfect. That would definitely up your grip on this one. Well, there you have it. It's the Sword Von Timsky Ranger. This is from New Zealand company, B.W. Baker. It's not as heavy as you would think either. It's actually quite comfortable to wear on your side. It's got these holes in the hand guard, so you can attach this to a decent uh, wood stick and make a spear out of it, probably using paracord or whatever, some type of cordage. But it's a really decent little... I'd like, guess you would call it like a hunting knife. That's kind of the category I guess it falls in or a little miniature buoy knife. But it's quite nice if you don't want to carry a big giant buoy knife on your side. Can't complain. Okay, let's see if this will throw a spark from a fire steel with the spine here. Not so much. Does need to be sharpened a little bit. I wonder if this uh, finger choil area will. Yeah. I don't want to mess the blade up though. I'm trying to use this flattened like little choil area. But it definitely, taking a grinder and sharpening that spine.